Virtual Adventures. I'm Sarah with an H and I'll be your host again today. Today we're talking about the Florida Horse Conk, one of the most collectible shells in Southwest Florida. Don't forget to subscribe and follow us on social media to see all of our daily finds. The Florida Horse Conk is the state shell of the state of Florida and it can be found all over the state. However, it's most predominantly found in the Southwest Florida area. Now this shell is a classic because of its beautiful shape, color, and of course, its size. So this shell is a really big size one. However, we find the largest one ever found in the museum on Sanibel Island, and it is 24 inches in length. That's two feet long. But how do they get to be this big? Where do they come from? How do they start? We're gonna talk about that today. So the Florida horse conch lays eggs just like many other marine mollusks, and they are produced in these big fluffy chains of bugle-shaped packets. Inside each of the little bugles would be many, many little embryos. Now, once that embryo is ready to hatch, the shell will actually be already on the mollusk, and it hatches out of its egg and swims around, uh, starting its life in the water column. They're about the size of a pinhead. I have a jar full of babies right here. It looks like dust. Now, once they start to grow and develop, they'll actually build calcium carbonate along their aperture, the opening of the shell. So if you look at a juvenile like this, it'll be along this edge. As it grows, so does the shell. It'll build all the calcium up on this edge and it'll spiral around over time, making what is the spire of the shell. So if you look at the tip of one of these conchs, that is the oldest part of the shell. That is what it was born with, just the little tip right there. What you're seeing now is video of a live Florida horse conch. Do you see that big bright orange foot sticking out? Well, that's the body of the mollusk. They actually have this giant foot that they use to smother their prey and they eat all kinds of things, including other mollusks. They'll eat small clams, small whelks, and even other horse conchs. These are the second largest predatory sea snail in the world. Now, when they're small, they're bright orange, just like these little juveniles here. And the body of the snail is also orange. But as they grow, they change color. Like this one here, it's a really bright beige. Sometimes they fade to a, a really nice burnt orange color, but this one's been cleaned. When you find it naturally, you'll find it out in the water covered in barnacles, probably some algae because these guys live out there for 20 or so years. Now, there's also a brown coating on it called a periostracum. It's basically like a skin. And once you clean that off, you can get to this really beautiful underside here. Now, here's some videos of some of our guests that have found them. We're gonna talk about this because it's important to note the best time to go out and look for these beautiful shells, especially if you're after one of the big ones. The big shells, as you can see, are found in a very low tide setting. So if you're at a beach, I would definitely recommend do your research ahead of time and try to go out at the lowest tide of the day. Also, a good thing to note is most of these bigger shells are too heavy to wash up on the shoreline. So you wanna get way out into the water if you can, especially at a low tide, this will make it a lot easier for you to get further from the shore. Now, once you're out there, shuffle your feet on the ground. Most of these shells are gonna be just under the sand and they won't stick out to you.
That's it for today's episode on Southwest Florida Seashells. Don't forget to follow us online and subscribe to follow all of our new adventures. Happy shelling!